So the first video, we're going to talk about field testing. You can see in your training plan that the first week um, of training that you have in May is a series of field tests. And these field tests are going to determine what your heart rate zones and power zones or even perceived exertion zones are. I think at a bare minimum, you're investing a lot of time and a lot of energy into this process. Everybody should own a heart rate monitor that's doing this event. It's going to help you pacing throughout the event, but it's also going to help you with your training and it's going to give some some substance to the intervals as well as the testing that we're going to do this week. The first test you're going to be doing is a three minute all out test. And this is what's going to determine your zone three heart rate and zone three power. And the way to do accurate testing is to find a place or a road or a climb or something that's very consistent without any um, uh, stops or, or any difference, not too much undulating of the terrain. And basically you're going to warm up for 30 minutes and then you're going to ride as hard as you can for three minutes. And after the first minute of difficult or first minute of the interval, you're going to hit your button and you're going to section off that last two minutes and get your average heart rate for that period. And that's going to be your zone three heart rate. The next test you're going to do is a 30 minute all out time trial. And that's going to be, you're going to rest a day, then you do this 30 minute test. Do it the exact same way. 30 minutes of warm up, then ride as hard as you can for 30 minutes. And we're going to call this your zone two or your climbing heart rate and you're going to take the last 20 minutes on average of your heart rate. And the final test is your long ride. And basically, I don't want you to go all out for three hours. I just want you to go for a nice, steady state ride for three hours, and this is going to be your zone one. We're going to keep things very, very simple. Zone one is your long, steady, your three-hour test. Zone two is your 30-minute hard test, your average heart rate for that, which would kind of be your climbing or your threshold. And then zone three, which is going to be your three-minute test, and that's going to be your kind of VO2 or your super high intensity. We're going to spend a lot of time in zone one throughout this process. You are going to do a little bit of zone two work and a little bit of zone three work, and we're going to retest. And the cool thing about retesting is if you go to the same spot, you don't need a power meter. Power meters are great. Taking your average power for these tests is the ultimate in terms of determining if you're getting stronger. But if you average more speed, average a higher mile an hour, or you go a longer distance in those three minutes, those 30 minute tests, you're actually getting stronger. And I think it's a pretty accurate way to do that as long as the rest of the tests are consistent. We're never going to do that three hour test uh, again. That's going to, you're only going to do it the first week, but you're going to know exactly that you're getting faster because a lot of the long rides in the weekends, you're going to compare your, your speed um, and how you feel that initial three hour test that you do in week one. So get ready, do great field tests, good luck. It's going to be our heart rate zones from here on forward.